Hooked up, another fish on. Nice brown trout right there. Oh, just like that right there. In a second, we're gonna have some beautiful Lake Superior brown trout. Yeah, she's on. Lighting. It's daylight, so it's okay. What's going on, guys? Today we are back with another video. Mitchell, get a look at this. Look at all this ice we're dealing with already. I don't think. Look at that picnic table, Mitchell. Which one? Where? Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't think you'd see it on here, but. Maybe we'll eat a nice lunch there that Espos today. Anyways, today we are out. We were have been in Green Bay for the last several weeks now, and uh, we made a slight move. We're actually on Lake Superior now, one of my absolute favorite destinations to fish of all time, and uh, I just absolutely love this time of year up here. A lot of the launches just kind of cleared out. It'll sort of cleared out. We actually went to several launches today to launch. Most of them had a bunch of ice in them, and uh, we came to a different one. My trailer was froze to my boat. There was a ton of ice on the ramp. I was pushing the boat off, my back popped, I couldn't hardly breathe and knocked the wind out of me. Thought I was gonna throw up. I fell on my keys. <laughs> Mitchell fell down on the ramp, but it's only 7 a.m. So oh, the day is off to a great start. But Perfect. anyways, like I said, we're out here on Lake Superior today. It is early spring and a lot of times there's a great, just kind of like multi-species. You got splake, I mean, a lot of different kinds of trout. You got splake, uh, lake trout, you got uh, co coho salmon, you got browns, you got just a lot of different stuff going on out here that you can catch and a lot of it's in very shallow water. So like I said, I absolutely love this time of year. It's a ton of fun. The goal is to normally um, do a bunch of trolling, hopefully catch a bunch of fish. And if we find fish really set up very tight in a good stack, then probably what we're gonna do is try to cast for them, which is an absolute ton of fun. We got a gorgeous day, minimal winds. It's myself, like I said, we got Mitchell behind the camera. We had to launch about 20 miles away from where we actually want to fish through the ice. So we got a little bit of a boat ride to go here, but the scenery, amazing. Absolutely amazing up here. So. That's what we're gonna do. Mitchell's gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna collect myself and hopefully I won't need to wear like a back brace the rest of my life. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. Take a boat ride, catch some fish. All right. Everything is cold. Oh, the old Suzuki just fires right up though. All right, time to set some lines here. We'll be trolling relatively shallow and we'll kind of go into a bunch of what we're doing, why we're doing type of stuff. But uh, for now, I just kind of want to get going here and start dropping some lines. What do you think, Mitchell? Good idea? Trout? I think you're probably right. Eh? Alright, I want you to go go like 30. You do not tell me what to do. 40, 40, okay? You do not tell me what to do. 30 feet down? Sure. How about you quit talking and actually do what we have to do to catch a fish here? All right, fish on. Number one of the day. I don't think it's gonna be super big, but hey, first trout of the year right here. In the boat. A walleye. Not a walleye. Must be. <sighs> you gotta back up here, big dog. All right, board is off. He's all yours. You still got him? Yep. What could it be? I guess this is going to be a splake or a little lake or... Look at that down there. It's a little brown, I think. Oh, yeah, Mitchell. It's a little brown trout. I'll tell you what, if he's 15 inches, I think he might be our lunch for the day. He's already off. I think so too. Just gotta find my measuring stick. Not one of my absolute favorite lures. The orange scatter wrap out here. Just a great catching lure. Deal with the fish first. There we go. First brown trout of the day. Nice 16 incher. We're not gonna keep a lot of fish today, but uh, I do want to eat one for lunch. Have a nice little 
shore lunch, a little fish fry today when we get hungry. So there we go. He's gonna go in the box and he will be tasty soon. Hooked up. It does feel like a good one. Fish on. Tell you guys what, it is not fast and furious yet, but I'll tell you what, this is my favorite place on the planet to fish. We could be in Green Bay surrounded by boats. And look around us. Nobody. Nobody for miles probably. No bad days out here. No. Yeah, honestly, even if you just catch a few fish, like still my favorite place. You just almost never have a bad time here. I think it's another brown, the way it's kind of squirreling and whirling back there. Oh, hang on, Mitchell. We got a little tangle. Start reeling. All right, all right, all right. What do you think it is? Some kind of trout? It is a, it might be a little laker. I'm going to say a little laker. Yep. Little lake trout there. Little chunky, chunky little lake trout. There we go. Actually, it's a splake. Orange scatter wrap again. We need more orange scatter wraps out. Good sign, though. Good sign. Right, take a look. We think it's a splake. Pretty Definitely sure splake. Yep. yep. Awesome, awesome eater. We're gonna throw them in the box and cook them up. Very pretty fish. Ton more. Gorgeous, man. So much prettier than an ugly Green Bay walleye. <laughs> <laughs> back for more scatter wraps are just the most gangster bait of all time up here they just catch so many fish this time of year real erratic up shallow and uh we need more oranges on hooked up another fish on feels heavy feels real nice and heavy you want it i'd rather drive the boat and have you reel honestly i'd rather blow your insta up today i'm not bad just for the record mitch is the kind of guy who have Every fish he catches, it goes right on Instagram. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Take your time. Let me know if you want me to slow down. Big slow down. Bigger. We'll just uh, slow her down. What kind of fish? We don't know. They're just kind of contemplating making a, Tell me it's a, big brown. a run to a different area. Yeah, that might, that as, might it's, as it's kind of been slower but a lot of times you control kind of a while sometimes without much happening and then all of a sudden just kind of like boom 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 we're kind of hoping we're kind of getting to the boom 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 part of the day here kind of getting close here Let me just throw this in the holder keep reeling Got him? All right, I'm gonna scoop him up for you here, big dog. Oh uh, yeah, brown or laker or splake. Yeah, I got color. Brown? I think it's a nice brown. Oh, it's a nice brown. Look at that thing. Nice brown. Keep them coming. Yeah, no. nice brown trout right there. We're gonna let this guy go, but we'll probably give you a look quick. Unless you wanted to keep one more. Gorgeous brown though. Very pretty fish. Mitchell's gonna do the honors of unhooking them here and I'm gonna keep trolling. Beautiful fish, take a look. 21, 22 inches, first brown of the day. Hopefully we catch a bunch more. Gorgeous fish. Try to let him go, all right, think so, maybe. Yeah, we'll let that guy go. He's yeah. bleeding a little bit, but it'll be fine. Awesome. All right, well, we have been trolling for a little while now, caught a bunch of fish, life is good, and uh, really wanted to pull up to an island and do a little fish fry today, so that's what we're gonna do. Does that sound good to you, Mitchell? Absolutely. So uh, we found a little spot. It's pretty calm today, so we should not really have a problem like getting to a piece of structure, but. Man, when you're up here and you're way out in the islands, it just feels like so remote, nobody around, and just incredibly relaxing. I mean, the water is just gin clear. You can see the bottom in like 20 feet of water out here. And uh, 
we got a few trout in the brocks. Unfortunately for one brown trout, um, he's gonna be our lunch today, but that's all right. All right, I'm going for it. Oh. Come on, Mitchell. All right, Mitchell's sliding on the ice. All right, I'm just gonna spot lock the old boat out there for a minute. Hopefully the spot lock works. We don't have to go swimming, but look how amazing our little lunch spot is. Have you ever seen a more gorgeous spot to eat lunch, Mitchell? Gonna get a little butter on there. Gotta let the fire burn down so it's not quite so hot. And man, just the, the scenery, Mitchell. Unbelievable, am I right? Absolutely. Absolutely insane. All right, butter, sea salt, used generously. What do you think, is that good, Mitchell? You like that? Perfect. Say when, all right. Little I feel like pepper. I'm at Olive Garden. <laughs> you feel like you're at Olive Garden right now? Say when. Say when. There we go, some nice pepper on there. It's gonna be tough to beat. And then uh, we're gonna do a little lemon action here. And, uh, and we might squeeze a little bit on there. Oh, just messed up already, Mitchell. Otherwise, we're just gonna lay them pretty much right on there like that. And just kind of let it all heat up and get nice and beautiful just like that right there. There we go, she's going on. Oh, just like that right there. In a second, we're gonna have some beautiful, crispy Lake Superior brown trout. Look at that. I don't know how the GoPro's picking it up, but it looks amazing. Mitchell's gonna take the first bite here. I'm taking first bite? Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're gonna take the first bite. Yes, I'll be the first one. Man, that is just gorgeous. I almost don't wanna eat it. I feel like that might be some of my best work. We got a real crispy skin underneath, and uh, it's gonna be cooked just to perfection. Oh, oh my look gosh, that. look at that. Gosh. I, I personally like the skin. Some people don't like the skin as much, but I really like, especially when you get it nice and crispy. I'm nervous, so nervous. It might be hot, it might be hot. Is it too hot? How is it though? Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it my best work yet? Mm -hmm. All right, lunch was absolutely amazing, as uh, we knew it would be straight from the greatest lake on the planet to, um, to the mouth, to the plate, to the fire. <laughs> However <laughs> you want to say, not sure I was going with that, but in that order. In that order. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get back in our boat, which is currently spot locked just offshore here, and uh, go catch some more trout. Maybe go back to kind of our good little area. Haven't caught a ton of fish, but uh, can't complain too much. It's been a great day, incredibly stress free, and we're catching gorgeous Lake Superior trout. Scenery is amazing. All right, I'm gonna shut up, and uh, we'll see you in the boat. All right, boys, we are hooked up. Far outside. This one has not yet caught a fish, I don't think. We're just contemplating turning around and going back through that area. We just caught three. And uh, another board goes back here. It's gonna take our time. These trout are so squirrely and wily. Looks like it could be decent. Let's drop a waypoint down, huh? Yep. All right, we got him. I think we're gonna have this line, Mitchell. Yeah, we definitely do. Ooh, doesn't look too bad, though. Nice squirrely something or rather. It's acting kind of like a brown. I still can't see, though. No, it's gonna be a lake or a splake. Is it? Another nice splaker? Nice, 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 nice. Gorgeous, look how pretty these little guys are. Amazing, amazing fish. That is just the great part about Lake Spear. Everything is just gorgeous. So clean, so wild, awesome. We are 
are hooked up. Another fish on here. Tell you what, not super fast action today, but uh, still an amazing time. And how can you complain about any of this, really? I mean, it's all just awesome. At first, I was gonna say, I don't think he's much, but he might be a little, he might be some kind of trout here, Mitchell. <laughs> he's gonna be some kind of something. You ready, Mitchell? Staying down, I like that. I like that a lot. Back to drag off once we get him a little bit taut here. All right, coming close, coming close. What is he? Looks like a brown. Oh, I don't even think he's that big. He's just not big. <laughs> He's a nice squirrely one, isn't he? <laughs> Gotta be a brown. Oh my gosh, he's hooked all bizarre, that's why. <laughs> what is it? Another splake or laker? Oh, another, another splaker. There we go. Another beautiful Lake Superior trout right there. We're gonna let that guy go, but man, just a gorgeous, gorgeous fish out here in the clear water. Too much fun. I absolutely love this style of fishing. And watch this guy paddle off. It's just a bolt of lightning back to the bottom he goes. <laughs> all right, what are we trolling? What are we using? All the kind of good stuff, all the details right here to get you guys on some fish. Um, so rod reel combo, obviously trolling reels, line counters on there. And uh, the trolling rods, we are running the 2B Fishing Genesis trolling rods. We're running all the 8.6 telescopic rods today. Which I absolutely love these things because from storing them in my boat, I could put, have all my spinning rods in here and put eight of these in the front, in the side rod locker. So I can keep all my stuff in here that I need. They fold down super nice. I mean, they probably fold down to, I would say, you know, what am I? I mean, they probably fold down to, it looks like about six feet. So I can put these in any rod locker. They'll fit in every single one. 12 pound mainline for our trolling stuff. Then I'm running eight pound fluorocarbon liters, just a rod length of that on a swivel. Um, just cause the water is so super clear. Two favorite baits out here. You guys have heard us talk about it. Rapala scatter wraps in orange hot steel action any color but orange and hot steel are kind of a couple of my favorites and then the husky jerks and i really like a lot of these chrome colors like this one right here or the uh orange belly blue chrome back and the silver sides um or holinsky shads another good one that gets bit a lot uh, but these are setups right here super simple it's all flat line trolling we're not really concerned with how far down the baits are going because the trout will come up to them when they're active it's a very visual thing with the water this clear the scanner wrap if you guys aren't familiar about it, we use these a ton for walleyes. What makes them so deadly? They're very erratic in the water, right? It's kind of almost like trolling a spoon, except it's a stick bait. So these baits get down there, and especially at two, two and a half miles an hour, these baits are just constantly kicking out to side and coming back to center. Just a phenomenal triggering quality in a crankbait, and really the only kind. And I'll link the stuff we use down below if you guys want to pick up any of the baits or any of the rods or anything like that. So that's kind of the setup. Super simple, super fun, super effective. Well, we made it back, long run back. Hopefully we could find a closer place to launch to where we want to fish next time, but um, it was a good day. It was a good first day of the year up here on Lake Superior, my absolute favorite fishing destination. Um, it's just got a little bit of everything to offer and the trout fishing is off the charts. Awesome fishing. Today was kind of a slower day than average this time of year, but uh, first day out, caught some fish, caught some splay, caught some browns, had a good shore lunch on an island. and. Uh, dinner. Yeah, and we're gonna eat trout tonight too. We have not had it. We have not had our full of trout for the day, but we'll be doing a whole bunch more of this this spring. Super fun thing to do if you guys want to try it. Definitely a fun time to do it. Very accessible bikes. A lot of times you can take your walleye stuff and just basically put uh, you know maybe some minor tweaks and then you're trout fishing. So um, very cool deal. But I appreciate you guys watching. Not sure what we're gonna be filming next, but uh, a ton more spring fishing content is on the way. Spring spring is just starting to pop up here in the Northwoods. Some of the inland lakes, believe it or not, have lost ice um, around our house. So we'll be doing a ton of that too but any last words nope nope stay tuned for more <laughs> stay tuned for more all right i appreciate you guys watching if you're not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time